Good evening, folks. This is Gary Lee Stanley live here in Jacksonville, Florida. We've got a great interview today with a strange character, one of our favorites. Uh, his name is uh, Mr. Tongue Piercing. How are you doing today, Mr. Tongue Piercing? I'm not very good. Sir, I can't understand you. Uh, could you speak up a little bit clearly? Maybe you got a mask on. Uh, yeah, I got a, my my tongue is pierced. Oh, your tongue's pierced. So that's why you're talking a little strange. Well, let me ask you a question. How long have you had your tongue pierced? Well, I've had my tongue pierced now for about a year and a half. And I'll tell you what, man, uh, I just love it. Uh, I think I understood you. Did you say you've had your tongue pierced for a year and a half and that you love it? Uh, yeah, I said that. That's, that's what I said. Uh, sir, I'll tell you what, you sound a little strange. <laughs> Does everybody who's got their tongue pierced sound a little strange? Well, you know, some of us have a better communicator than others, and some of us, you know, it, it takes us a little while to figure out how to talk properly. Uh, do you think maybe because you got your tongue pierced, that's the reason why you sound funny? Hey, that's not really nice. I'm not really, I'm not, that, that, that's just rude. Uh, uh, did you say that was rude? Yeah, I guess it was rude, you know, but you do sound funny. You know, we're going to have a conversation. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons of getting your tongue pierced. So uh, can I go ahead and get started and ask you some basic questions? Sure. Go ahead and ask, and ask away. Uh, I hear one of the positive things now, get folks out there, if you're listening, that uh, if you're interested in getting your tongue pierced, guys, it is supposed to be really good for oral sex. Now, I'm just saying, I've never actually had that done or anything, but you know what they say, stuff happens. So, uh, is it true that uh, getting your tongue pierced is really great for sex? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what do you mean you don't know? Well, I got my tongue pierced a while back and everything, but I haven't had a date in over a year and a half. Uh, well, can I ask you a question? Why did you get your tongue pierced? Because I heard it's really good for sex. And I wanted to have some good sex. Okay. Uh, what kind of sex were you talking about? Oodle sex. Oodle sex? Uh, I mean, oral sex. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I, I, my, my brain's off a little bit here. You know, we're doing a, an interview here. So you're saying that it, oral sex it was really great for oral sex? Yeah, that's what I read and that's what I heard. Um, what, did you have a girlfriend at the time that you had your tongue pierced? No, we had just broken up. And one of my other friends, she had her tongue pierced and her, her uh, relationship was going pretty good. So you got your tongue pierced and uh, now you sound a little bit funny and a little bit weird. Well, why don't you have a girlfriend yet or whatever you're into? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't have no idea. Uh, <laughs> sir, I'll probably kind of get and give you maybe a hint. It's the way you sound. Uh, have you had anybody tell you that you sound weird? Uh, hey, it's not that nice. Yes, I have. I've had some people tell me, what is wrong with you? Are you making in fun of special needs people? Uh, sir, did you say people were asking if you were picking on special needs people? Yeah, you know, the ones with Down syndrome and stuff like that and and, you know, they say that I'm making fun of them, but I'm not. It's just, you know, I've got this big pierced tongue, and it's just, just the way it is. Well, sir, I'll tell you, you do sound a little weird like that, and I feel sorry for those children with Down syndrome. I could imagine parents and people think that you are kind of emulating them because you sound like you got, I mean, you sound like there's something wrong with you. Well, that's not really nice, but, you know, you say you were going to do this interview and ask me some good questions, so why don't you get right to it? <laughs> okay, sir, I guess I better get right to it. So the oral sex is out of the picture, huh? Yeah, I ain't had sex since I got this dang thing. Okay. Well, you know, it's funny. You know, sometimes things happen for reasons we don't know why. 
So your what was your reasoning to get that pierced tongue? I tell you, I wanted to have good sex. You know, I got all these other piercings in my ears and, and you know, and I got one in my nose. Oh, I know. I've heard about people that are into piercings and stuff like that. Uh, do you have a lot of tattoos too? Yeah, I got a lot of tattoos, but they ain't got nothing to do with my pierced tongue. Oh, I know, guy. I'm just saying there's a lot of people who enjoy getting their tongues pierced. And also they're talking about, you know, getting a lot of tattoos and piercings everywhere. So uh, how many piercings do you have? I got like 10. Okay, that sounds a little strange. Now, do you have one on your uh, your thing down there? Yeah, I got one on my thing down there because, you know, I just thought huh, it was going to be great. I got it at the same time. I got my tongue pierced. So my pit, my, 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 my pit has got pissed too. Sir, you sound really sad. You sound really funny too. I guess you're trying to, you know, figure out how, maybe this interview will help enter it, get you a girlfriend or a significant other or whatever you're into. And so I'm just sharing with you guys that, hey, it's okay. Things happen for reasons we don't know why. And see, here's another thing. I've heard, I've heard some, some things. I did my research before we had a conversation and, you know, there are what they call uh, negative complications for piercings. Did you know that? No, what are you talking about? Well, you know, they have problems, you know, and it's been documented that there are brain and heart uh, infections. Have you heard about those? No, what does that mean? Well, basically, it's like pus on the brain or, or maybe an issue with your heart. Now, a lot of people, they don't know this stuff, and it can be an abscess, and an abscess could kill you. Did you know that based on an infection? No, that sounds a little scary. Uh, how long did it take for your tongue to heal up? Well, you know, it took a little while and everything, but do you still get food products and, and things inside of your, underneath your, you know, your piercing? Yeah, I get stuff underneath it all the time. I got to clean it and brush it. Well, they specify that a lot of times it can be issues and infections with the bloodstream that can take you out. Have you heard about that? Yeah, you know, I heard a little bit about that stuff. But, you know, I try not to worry about stuff. Well, have you ever had your tongue swell up? Uh, yeah, it swell up quite a bit. And sometimes it's a little bit. Well, you know that they have issues with that because what happens is, is that if you have those, uh, swell up situations with your tongue, they've had people who actually, it, it constricted their airways and it got blockage and people passed away. Hey man, you thought to scare the crap out of me. Yes, yeah, swallowing your tongue, I mean, it can be crazy. And they also have people who have also swallowed their jewelry that was on their tongue. Have you ever lost any of your jewelry? Yeah, it came off a couple of times. I thought for sure, and it was crazy, man. Well, I hear also that it can damage your gums. Yeah, it's giving me some issues with my gums a little bit here. You know, the palate of my tongue and the upper part of it. I've got some issues with that, but, you know, that's just the cost of, you know, wearing a pissed tongue. Well, I heard also that it can cause you to chip your teeth. Yeah, I chipped my daggone tooth, man. It's like I got in a fight with this dude, and, man, my middle thing racked up a couple of teeth that I chipped, and it sucked, and I also was sleep one night, and the top of my teeth and the very front of my teeth caught my piercing, and I couldn't get it loose. I thought I was going to go crazy. Oh, well, sir, it sounds like to me you're having a really good time with that piercing. It sounds like you really enjoy something that's going to benefit you. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, it sounds a little, you know, I thought it was going to be something real cool. After talking to you, I'm getting a little bit scared. I'm definitely getting a little agitated with you. Because, you know, I, I have, everything was just right until I talked to you. Well, sir, <laughs> it, wasn't my, it wasn't me that was trying to give you a hard time. I was just trying to figure out, because we got people listening, and some people may say, I'd like to go get my pierced, my tongue pierced. So by having this interview, 
it lets me know that a lot of people don't know that there can be issues which are like tissues that can pop up and kill your ass. Okay. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good. Uh, I mean, really, I think what I need to do is take this piercing out of my mouth. Yeah, well, do you think you'll start talking normal? Uh, yeah, I guess I would start talking normal. I know I sound a little bit funny, but there are some people who's got them, they don't sound funny at all, at least in the beginning they do, but after a while, you know, they start talking normal. Well, I haven't met any of those people, and so don't be haters out there. If you've got your piercing in your tongue, if it's working for you, that's wonderful, and if you've got a significant other who loves your piercing because, you know, everybody loves sex, okay, then it sounds pretty Pretty doggone cool. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys, we're just having a great interview. What was your name? His name was uh, Mr. Tongue Piercing. So, guys, we had a great conversation with Mr. Tongue Piercing. So, uh, so let me ask you a question, Mr. Tongue Piercing. Are you ready for the holidays? Oh, uh, yeah, man, I can't wait for the holiday. I'm going to get some new jewelry for my tongue. <laughs> Are you kidding me? After this conversation, you know, we talked about the infections and getting your bloodstream, the swelling of the tongues, the jewelry losses down your throat, the, the way it can keep you from swallowing, your airway blockage, and also chip your teeth, and you're still wanting to keep that thing in your mouth. Oh, yeah, man, I feel cool. <laughs> well, I hope you get a girlfriend soon or a significant other that really appreciates appreciate you because you sound like you need somebody to love on you and maybe this interview will help you because it is important to let all our brothers and sisters out there who are thinking about getting their tongue pierced or who already have their tongue pierced that we love you big old bear hugs because <laughs> my name is gary lee stanley i am your comedy guy here at uh, gary lee stanley your comedy radio we just had a wonderful uh, opportunity to talk Talk with a guy who sounds really funny because he just does. Hey, man, that ain't right. That's okay, brother. It'll be okay. Uh, so, Mr. Tongue Piercing, so what are you going to do for Christmas? I'm going to eat a lot of turkeys. I'm going to eat a lot of ham. Aren't you worried about it getting on your tongue and in between your, you know, your ring and everything? Yeah, I don't think so. I busted out clear food good. Uh, I wish I could understand most of what our conversation was about today, guys, but I can't lie. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> the conversation was a little weird. So I hope you enjoy the conversation, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful Merry Christmas holidays. And remember, when you go to get your tongue pierced, think about it. Hey, by the way, let me ask you one more question. Did it hurt when they pierced your tongue? Hell yeah. I love it. I'm a lot of pain, pain, pain. Well, how long did the pain last? For months. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that sounds really exciting, guys. So if you're wanting to get some of that pain, it doesn't hurt forever, but it will hurt for a while. So enjoy getting your tongue pierced and give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Have a conversation with those people who've gotten their tongues pierced. So I hope you had a good conversation. We just did with Mr. Uh, Mr. Tongue Piercing. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. That was a good time. And so thank you, Mr. Tom Piercing, for talking with us today about all those reasons why there's a pros and cons of getting your tongue pierced. Thank you very much. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you very much. Have a nice day. All right, guys, we just said goodbye to Mr. Piercing. And guys, we just want to remind you that, hey, your health, it really matters. So when you decide to go out there and get that tongue pierced or any kind of piercings, talk to your doctors first and make sure that it's a healthy choice. There's nothing worse than dying over an infection. Okay? All right.